fault. Uh, let me add one, one thing, because this is a generational perspective. Uh, I'm old enough to have lived through this public media issue back in the 1970s and 80s. It was called detente versus Cold War then. At that time, the American mainstream media was amply full of both points of view. It is not today. The American mainstream media is one hand clapping. And I mean the New York Times, the Washington Post, the Wall Street Journal, ABC, NBC, PBS, all the cable channels. They are giving one narrative of the history of this dispute, this crisis, this new Cold War. And it's a false narrative because half of the story is omitted. And the old American adage that I was raised on, that there are two sides to every story, or live by the golden rule, do as do unto others as you would have them do unto you. And when you say, well, the Russians are hypersensitive and they shouldn't take this so seriously, let's remember the Cuban Missile Crisis. We nearly went to nuclear war on the grounds that Russia could not have a base 90 miles off the shore of Miami. So we play by a double standard. And as Putin said a few weeks ago at a place called Valdai, where he gave an amazing speech that absolutely nobody paid any attention to in the United States, he said, this story is over. We're not, we have nowhere to retreat to. We're not backing off. So this should be taken seriously. But I, I would say to your, your younger audience, uh, which like my children, don't read traditional media anymore. Watch it that they're on the Internet. When I told Snowden, when my wife said to Snowden in Moscow, do you watch television? He said, what's television? He said, it's obsolete technology. Uh, your, your people, your audience, can go to the Internet, they understand it, in ways that I cannot. And they should no longer be dependent on the American mainstream media. That is the only hope for, for this generation, because the mainstream media has betrayed us. They have not told the full story.